Hello, my name is Eddie, and in this video, we'll be discussing forklift safety. Forklifts are fantastic machines designed to lift, move, and place loads safely. Used correctly, they are an indispensable asset to any site. However, if used incorrectly, they have the potential to damage stock and equipment, injure workers, and in the worst case, kill people. There are a huge number of considerations that need to be assessed by the forklift operator when using the machine. The operator is responsible for assessing the work site to ensure that it is safe to drive and operate in. This should include knowing where holes, soft spots, building penetrations, cables and platform edges are. Overhead obstacles and hanging cables need to be identified and signposted. Slopes and inclines should be identified, and this includes side slopes. Pedestrian routes and other workers should be identified and potentially protected by barriers and exclusion zones. All forklift operators are to wear a seatbelt when operating a forklift. The seatbelt ensures that the operator is kept in the machine in the event of an incident. This is particularly important in the event of a tip over. It will ensure the operator does not fall out and become crushed by the machine or the load, which can be fatal. The load on a forklift is always to be centred on the forks with the forks locked and secure. This is to prevent load damage and to prevent tip over. The load on a forklift is always to be centred on the forks with the forks locked and secure. This is to prevent load damage and to prevent tip over. Forklifts have a high center of gravity. This increases when the forks are lifted. Wide loads also increase the instability of the machine. Some loads are irregular sizes. Therefore, an assessment should be made on the best way to lift the load. A test lift can be carried out to ensure that the load can be lifted and moved safely. A second experienced person can be a great asset when conducting difficult lifts. Driving a forklift up and down and across slopes and ramps can create serious issues quickly. A forklift carrying a load should only drive down a slope in reverse. This is to prevent load loss or damage and potential injury to other workers and or pedestrians. A forklift carrying a load should only drive up a slope forwards. This can cause issues when the driver's vision is obscured by the load. In this instance, a guide should be used to assist and good effective communication should be maintained to prevent any unfortunate incidents. All forklifts have a limit to what they can lift safely. This is detailed on the load chart and this should never ever be exceeded. It is important that the forks are correctly inserted into or under the load to ensure that the load is secure. It is also important to remember that the further a load is from the mast, the more unstable the load is and the more the weight of the load will influence the center of gravity of the machine. Loads should never be slung from forks only. The only time it is appropriate to sling a load beneath the forks on a forklift is when using an appropriate forklift jib. When using a forklift jib, it is vital to have read, understood and work to the manufacturer's instructions. It is recommended that when using a jib, the use of a dogman to assist with the load is to be considered. Fork extensions are an attachment that slides over the forks and increases the fork length. This permits the safe lifting of objects larger than normally permitted. The forks extensions will downgrade the lifting weight capabilities of the forklift due to their weight and care should be used to ensure that the loads lifted do not exceed the lifting ability of the machine. Fork extensions should always be locked into place with an appropriate locking pin designed for the extension. Locking pins should be regularly checked to ensure that they are secure. There are several activities using a forklift that are expressively prohibited working at LT McGuinness. These include, but are not limited to, using a forklift to push loads with the forks. When this is done, there is a lack of control of the load and therefore it can have unforeseen consequences. While forklifts have a very useful point at the rear that looks like a tow point, this is not to be used for towing other items. It is designed for recovering the vehicle and for restraining the vehicle during transport. 
Thanks for watching. Keep safe out there.